So Horizon Forbidden West just got its most awaited update yet, Patch 5, which includes the newest version of FSR and the introduction of a standalone AMD frame generation setting that can be used with any upscaling method. The patch notes also state various performance improvements alongside a new graphical setting called Cinematic Facial Detail. So, let's check everything new in this update starting with the game's performance in which I was very surprised to see it actually go down with this update. The FPS drop was immediately noticeable when I loaded the game up with the new patch. This is the exact opposite of what was promised in the patch notes. Just to be sure this wasn't just on my end, I went through the Steam discussions and easily enough, I found people complaining about much lower performance after the new update. Believe me when I say this, you will feel the FPS drop. So watch this video to the end and only update if you're convinced by the new additions to the game. Speaking of, let's check out the new cinematic facial detail setting. It only makes a difference in cinematic cutscenes and it has a minor to a moderate impact to the image quality at worst. As for performance, it has a minor impact, but the performance impact can be a lot greater the more characters are on screen, which should help some people that have been complaining about low FPS during cutscenes. Now for FSR 3.1. Let's start with frame generation. I found that its frame rate increase is not desirable at all. Here, it only increased FPS by about 48% instead of the usual average of around 80 to 90% we are used to seeing. Also, the game was not smooth with it on at all. It suffered from noticeable micro stuttering. Another thing is that the heads up display was noticeably distracting with it on in this game. It seems like the HUD in Forbidden West doesn't work well with AMD frame generation. All these factors encourage me to safely say that AMD frame generation is not implemented well in this game and is not worth using. Now for the upscaler. Comparing the previous version which is FSR 2.2 to the new version 3.1 using the quality option at 1440p. It appears to get rid of lots of shimmering around both static and moving objects. It's a very welcome improvement indeed. In this scene, which will probably be hard to spot the difference on YouTube, we can see that the rough shimmering slash pixelization slash artifacting, whatever you wanna call it, is heavily reduced around Aloy when she moves. It's not perfect as the artifacting is still there, but it's an improvement for sure. We can also see that some particle effects, like this small fire, doesn't have that visible pixelated look to it anymore, which was one of the most negative aspects about FSR previously. In another scene, I noticed a weird issue with FSR 3.1, where it seems to make the image look quite worse. More specifically, this tree trunk now looks blurry and out of focus, as if a high speed motion blur effect is being applied to it and anything that passes in front of it gets a ghosting effect. And speaking of that, in general, ghosting issues have been slightly improved with FSR 3.1. In conclusion, I'd recommend you to not update or to even downgrade your game version, as this update is not worth it, unless you exclusively plan on using the FSR 3.1 upscaler and don't mind losing a few frames per second.